I'm Tom Kiss, the Lynn Insider, and today we are at Chino Hills High School for the site of the CIF Ford Southern Section Division Three Girls Playoff Matchup between Bonita, the Lady Bearcats, are coming down from Laverne to play the host Chino Hills Huskies. Both of these teams got to the round of eight by defeating some tough teams. Chino Hills defeated Flint Ridge Prep, the number four seed in the first round, then they beat La Mirada 4-1 in the second round. While Bonita, on the other hand, had to beat two teams up in Apple Valley. They beat the number one seed, Oak Park, last week to get into this quarterfinal matchup. It'll be a big game to see who can get into the semifinals of the girls' Division Three soccer action. We'll bring it to you from Chino Hill. <laughs>
Chino Hills goes down one nothing early. They take a 3-1 lead and they finish the game 5-1. Let's talk to their victorious head coach, Tom Hunter. Uh, it, it looked easy if I look at the final score, but uh, that was really a tough game. Talk about uh, talk about the offense, especially in the beginning of the game, to get a, get you a 3-1 lead. You know, our, our offense, uh, the girls have worked really hard all year and uh, it's starting to click for us offensively. Um, we've got a lot of speed up there. Not taking anything away from uh, Bonita. You know, that's a good squad over there with a lot of talent. And uh, the coaching over there is fantastic. Um, I just think that our girls uh, have worked so hard this year, and it's just now clicking for them. Uh, they believed in themselves and their abilities, and that's what happened today. Ashley Gonzalez on fire. Two goals in the last game, two goals today. Talk about her performance. You know, she is a very focused young lady, and, uh, you know, once she gets her sights on the ball, once she gets into that, you know, attacking third, um, she always makes good things happen. Gail is probably been one of your biggest leaders all season long. She shut down them in the middle of the field and got rewarded for two goals today. Talk about her performance. Um, she's great out there, you know. She's got a lot of soccer sense. Uh, she knows the game very well. She's a she's a constant leader out there, you know. It's like having a second coach on the team out on the field. So she knows exactly what we talk about in practice and what we want to go for in the game times, and uh, she makes it happen. Out there. How far Chino Hills has ever gotten the soccer playoffs? Have you looked that up and seen how far that you guys have gotten? Actually, yes. Uh, they've, uh, they've made it a couple of times to the, to the dance, but they've always been knocked out in the first round or in a wild card round. So this is the furthest we've ever gone. Um, want to keep it that way. want to keep coming back. Okay, so um, uh, Ayala was up 3-1. to one. They end up losing 4-3. to three. So it looks like you're probably going to be playing at Bish Vermont. Let's talk about them being the CIF champions, defending champions. How are you going to go forward with them? Well, looking forward from this match, uh, either team was going to be a, a tough battle. Uh, we've, uh, we've played 500 ball with Ayala this season. Uh, three games, both teams have only scored two goals. Uh, so it's very competitive, knowing that uh, you know they took uh, Bishop Amat to have to come back. Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of stuff going over there, going on over there at Ayala. You know, uh, you know personally with their uh, you know Doniac sister. Uh, you know, we, we wish her and her family well. Um, but uh, I'm sure they're having a tough time with that. Uh, so I'm sure that weighs heavily on them. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't get the win tonight. Um, so. Uh, we're just looking forward to going down to the next level and uh, you know trying to get a win for us. Well, congratulations, Coach. Thanks. Unfortunately, Benita's season comes to an end. Let's talk to their head coach, Lindsey. Tough Bach. way to go out, uh, losing this game five to one. What do you? What would you say the difference was in this game for you today? Uh, I think our intensity. Um, you know, we. Uh, it's, it's been a long road. Uh, you know, I just try to keep these girls consistent in, in everything we do. Um, you know, a, cu a couple goals um, called back. You know, it, it, this is a great team right here. We've uh, we faced them three times this year, and uh, unfortunately, they've had our number all, all three times. But you know, I've had the utmost respect for that, that coaching staff. And, uh, Seems like you kept the game close for a, a good part of the game. Like you said, a couple of things, if a couple of balls bounce your way, you're right back in it. Talk about what you needed, you tried to do against Ashley Gonzalez to contain her before she opened up and scored those two goals. Yeah, great little player. Uh, you know, so it's what I try, you know, just contain them, don't let them turn, stand them up. Um, we dove in a lot on defense. Defensively, we weren't, we weren't too sound. Lost our shape a, a couple times, and unfortunately, that will not happen. They, they capitalized on us and, and, and put the Away, they finish. finish in league and then you, you knock off the number one seed. Yeah. What do you tell your team now now that the season's over? Hey, what a great accomplishment. You're one of eight teams left in this whole tournament. You need to be proud of yourselves making it that far. We got knocked out second round last year. You know what? If we keep progressing this far every year, I'm, I'm happy with that. Well, thank you, Coach. Ashley Gonzalez continued her hot streak. She scored two goals today. That's four goals in two games, giving Chino Hills an early 3-1 to one lead in the half. Let's talk to her and see what she has. Ashley Gonzalez, she has four goals in the last two games. Ashley, talk about those goals that you've got in the first half. How, how, how does it seem they come so easy? Well, I just want 
I just wanted to win this game. I wanted to be in the championships already. And we're one game away from Bishop Amon. Haven't really heard anything about them yet, but we're getting there. We'll talk about it later. And we got this. How surprised are you that your team has gotten this far? Are you surprised that you've gotten this far? Or do you just know deep down inside, yeah, we can get, you know? I'm not really surprised. I knew we had real good potential and such good talent on this team that I really believed in, this, in these girls and that we'll make it all the way. Well, congratulations. Amy Rangel has been Chino Hills' leader all season long. She got two goals today. Let's hear what she says. What do you think about that win? Uh, it's the most amazing feeling. Uh, first time being in quarterfinals, and now we're going to the semis. First time ever here. I mean, I'm very excited. It's very exciting to have all the support that we can. Um, both guys, soccer, all the fans, basketball, everybody's just out here supporting girls' soccer, and it's amazing. From the past, you know, two years that I've been here, um, you know, we haven't been very successful, and this year to have so much talent and finally put it all together. It's just an amazing most of the time You are assisting on most of the goals. Today you got two yourself. Talk about those two goals that you scored today. Um, well, they. I just capitalized on their mistakes and I just had to be determined. I had to have confidence and I told myself that I can do this and I just kept going at it and put my mind to it and I got the two goals and I'm very happy and proud of myself that I got those and as well as this is well, another team, Ayala, was up 3-1 to one at half, and they ended up losing 4-3 to three against Bishop Vermont. That's the team you're going to play in the next round. What do you know about Bishop Vermont? Um, I know that they won uh, the championship last year, so I know they have very good talent. And to come back from losing 3-1 at half and come back 4-3, uh, I know it's going to be a tough match, and especially because it's going to be at their house. I know that we have to work hard this next week and just bring it. I know we can do this, and we're going to knock Bishop out, and this is our this is our time. This is our year. Well, congratulations. One of the defenders for Chino Hills is Tiara Purcell. Let's hear what she has to We're say about Tiara this. Purcell. Tiara, obviously you knew, you've seen this team two times before. What did your coach tell you any different from today's match? Well, to just keep playing and to go in hard and not to give up and, you know, mark those players that needed to be marked and um, really talk to our defense so we know how to shift and stay together so if one gets beat, we have a backup and so I think we did a pretty good job of it today. I mean, we showed it and the score was pretty good. Well, when they went up one nothing, what were you guys thinking? We need to come back harder and stronger because nobody's going to score on us again. We can't have that happen. And so on a beautiful day here in Chino Hills, the Huskies advance to the semifinals in the girls' Division Three playoffs by defeating Benita 5-1. to one. Chino Hills now will travel to Bishop Amat. Bishop Amat was 4-3 to three winners over Ayala after coming back from down 3-2 to two with four minutes to go. It'll be an, almost an all-Sierra League semifinal. On the other side, Claremont is going to host St. Four area teams. Which two are going to be left after Tuesday's games? We'll be there to show you at least one semifinal while Fred Robledo will cover the other one and we'll meet either Friday or Saturday of next week. This is Tom Kiss reporting from Chino Hills High School.